wanted actually to do a little lesson today in photography and showing people how a good photographer can basically hide anything, okay? Video is a little bit harder for me at least uh, to hide, of course, these scratches when I go around a vehicle. However, I do kind of almost purposely fuck up the video in a sense to hide stuff. Now, the thing is, this is actually going to be fixed. However, for the photos, they're not. So there's a very big difference out there too between a real photographer and a fake one. A lot of these fake ones use this to take pictures of cars. I'm sorry, but this fucking thing just doesn't cut it. Now, you'll see a lot of people take pictures this way. They're morons. Pictures are supposed to be taken landscape, not portrait, especially with vehicles. And all of them, too. You never go to landscape when you're doing photography. There's also a very big difference between lenses. See the size of that lens compared to this lens? It is dramatically different. So, the other thing is, since I, I've been using Sony for, whew, probably over a decade now, and I would say that in my career, I've probably taken over whew, hundreds and thousands of shots, and I'm not even exaggerating about that. I tend to take pictures, about 50 photos minimum of any vehicle, and then of course go all the way up to 125, depending on the vehicle, of course with a uh, bigger vehicle, it, like uh, with nav and all that other stuff. I don't really have a cap. now. To get rid of those photos, what I do is I walk very far away, and then what I do is I actually just kind of zoom back in. So with a smartphone, you can't do that because the digital zoom will not allow you to do that. And by doing the angles in a certain way and utilizing the lighting and kind of throwing your eyes to other things in the lot too, I can actually just erase these scratches without even having to use Photoshop. But of course, I've been doing this for so many years that a lot of people have actually come to car lots and say, oh, who's that guy that takes your photos? I'd like to meet him and kick his ass. <laughs> but that's why you actually have to actually look at things very clearly when you're looking on the internet. And most of the people today, they're just not paying attention to things. And I don't know if it's a smartphone thing, they're not using computers anymore, but it's really pathetic. You have to really go in and analyze things and make sure you know what you're buying. Because, hey, listen, there's a lot of people out there, like myself, I guess, that uh, can trick your eye. <laughs>